open any American's closet and you're likely to find it. Behind the neatly hung shirts and carefully folded sweaters lies a graveyard of impulse buys and forgotten favourites. These are the clothes we meant to wear. The clothes we swore we'd fit back into. The clothes that whispered promises of a someday that never came. They sit there, untouched. A testament to our ever-changing tastes and the fleeting nature of fashion. In a nation of consumers, our closets tell the story of our spending habits, our aspirations, and perhaps our tendency to accumulate a bit more than we need. Each item represents a moment of desire, a hope for transformation, or simply a good deal that was too hard to pass up. The sheer volume of clothing Americans keep stashed away is staggering. It's not just about having options, it's about the comfort of abundance, the security of knowing we have more than enough. According to a recent survey, the average person has over 100 items of clothing in their closet. This number reflects not just our love for variety, but also the ease with which we can acquire new pieces. Of those items, a significant percentage haven't been worn in the past year. They remain pristine, with tags still attached, waiting for an occasion that may never come. This abundance of unworn clothing speaks to a larger trend. We are buying more clothes than ever before, and yet our closets seem to be bursting at the seams. The cycle of buying and storing continues, often without us even realizing the extent of our collections. Fast fashion, with its relentless cycle of new trends and disposable garments, has fueled this consumption frenzy. Every season brings a new wave of must-haves, encouraging us to constantly update our wardrobes. We are bombarded with images of perfectly styled influencers, urging us to refresh our wardrobes with the latest must-haves. Social media platforms amplify this message, making it hard to resist the allure of staying on trend. The allure of a good deal, coupled with the ease of online shopping, makes it all too easy to click add to cart without giving much thought to the longevity of our purchases. The convenience of having new clothes delivered to our doorsteps often outweighs the consideration of whether we truly need them. But what happens to these clothes when they no longer spark joy? The process of decluttering can be overwhelming as we sift through piles of garments, deciding what to keep and what to let go. Some may be donated, finding a second life in thrift stores or donation bins. These items may bring joy to someone else, extending their usefulness beyond our own closets. Others might be passed down to friends or family members, creating a chain of ownership that keeps the clothing in circulation. But a significant portion of our unwanted clothing ends up in landfills, contributing to the growing problem of textile waste. The environmental impact of this waste is profound, affecting ecosystems and contributing to pollution. The environmental impact of our fashion choices is undeniable, prompting many to seek out more sustainable alternatives. From eco-friendly fabrics to ethical production practices, the movement towards sustainable fashion is gaining momentum, encouraging us to rethink our consumption habits and make more mindful choices. Enter the world of clothing resale, a seemingly perfect solution to the fashion industry's waste problem and our own overstuffed closets. This burgeoning market offers a fresh perspective on how we view and value our wardrobes, encouraging us to rethink our consumption habits. Platforms like Poshmark, ThreadUp and The Real Real have exploded in popularity in recent years, promising a more sustainable and affordable way to shop for clothes. These platforms have revolutionised the way we buy and sell fashion, 
making it easier than ever to participate in the second-hand economy. For sellers, these platforms offer an opportunity to declutter their closets and earn some extra cash. It's a simple process. Clean out your wardrobe, list your items, and watch as they find new homes with eager buyers. Buyers, on the other hand, are drawn to the thrill of the hunt, the possibility of finding unique pieces at a fraction of the retail price. The excitement of discovering a hidden gem or a vintage treasure keeps shoppers coming back for more. The environmental benefits of buying second-hand are undeniable. By choosing pre-loved items, we reduce the need for new production, which in turn conserves resources and minimizes pollution. Extending the lifespan of clothing reduces the demand for new production, conserving precious resources and lessening the industry's environmental footprint. This shift towards sustainability is crucial in combating the negative impacts of fast fashion. It's a win-win situation, right? Consumers get to enjoy unique fashion finds while contributing to a more sustainable future. The rise of resale platforms seem to signal a shift in consumer behaviour, a move away from the excesses of fast fashion. More people are becoming aware of the environmental and social costs of their clothing choices. Towards a more mindful approach to consumption, this growing awareness is driving a change in how we shop encouraging us to make more thoughtful and responsible choices. But beneath the surface of this seemingly virtuous cycle lies a complex reality. The second-hand market, while promising, is not without its challenges. While clothing resale platforms have captured the attention of consumers and investors alike, many are struggling to turn a profit. The business model, though innovative, faces significant hurdles. The economics of resale are tricky and the challenges these platforms face are multifaceted. From logistical issues to market saturation, the path to profitability is fraught with obstacles. Despite the abundance of supply and the growing demand for second-hand clothing, turning a profit in the resale market is no easy feat. The future of these platforms will depend on their ability to innovate and adapt to an ever-changing market landscape. So why is it so hard for clothing resale platforms to make money? The answer lies in the economics of the business model. Resale platforms essentially act as middlemen, connecting buyers and sellers in the second-hand clothing market. They need to find a way to take a cut of each transaction without alienating either party. But finding the right balance is a delicate dance. High operating costs eat into profit margins. These platforms require significant investments in technology, logistics and marketing to function effectively. They need to maintain user-friendly websites and apps, process payments securely and handle shipping and returns efficiently. Marketing and advertising are crucial for attracting both buyers and sellers to their platforms, further adding to their expenses. The nature of the inventory presents another set of challenges. Unlike traditional retailers who deal with standardized products and bulk orders, resale platforms grapple with the complexities of unique, pre-owned items. Each item needs to be individually photographed, described and listed on the platform. Authenticating luxury goods adds another layer of complexity and cost. The Real Real, a luxury consignment platform, exemplifies both the potential and the pitfalls of the resale model. This platform has become a go-to destination for those looking to buy and sell high-end, pre-owned luxury items. Specialising in high-end brands like Chanel, Gucci and Hermes, The Real Real offers a curated selection of authenticated luxury goods. This curation is a key part of their appeal, ensuring that buyers can trust the quality and authenticity of the items they purchase. Their in-house team of experts meticulously inspects each item to ensure its authenticity using a combination of technology 